what's good YouTube, what's good Facebook, GBG, and every other gaming community in the online sphere. I think that's right. I'm just going to call it the Nether Sphere or Skynet, whatever the hell you want to call it. But uh, what's up, guys? This is the official reintroduction to my channel and... I decided, hey, since I'm on my little 15 minute break, why not do it now? Um, and basically, if y'all can't see, this is where I work. Yes, I work in a hospital. I work in a hospital. Uh, but yeah, this is where I work. Um, and what I'm going to discuss is what I'm going to keep this channel primary as. I'm not. I'm not about the YouTube drama. I'm not about that life. Um, I'm, as a lot of people may know, yes, I am a part of the council. Ooh, big mysterious council. Yes, I am part of the council. Um, we have podcasts every Thursday, you know. A couple of times I missed, and that was because I had a, my child was coming into the world, so... Hey, couldn't help that. That's my baby. I gotta protect my child. I gotta take care of my child. Gotta do everything for my child. Even have her on the podcast sometime. Like last week, she was on the podcast. She wanted to be televised, as we like to say. But, um, you know, I'm mainly a PlayStation person, but I'm also a PC person. So I'm kind of like best of both worlds. If I, I'm still thinking about getting an Xbox One. Had a Wii U, got rid of the Wii U, really wasn't playing the Wii U, so I'm mainly a primary PlayStation person, PS4, Vita TV, and a Vita, that's what I do, um, you know, I'm not really much of a talker, I'm more of a gamer, so if you want to meet me in the game, or play me in a game, or anything like that, Hit me up on PSN. Or if you're a PC gamer, hit me up on Steam. PSN name, same as the channel, just take off the. It's just Sarge0079. Uh, Steam account is Starkiller0079. Yes, I keep my shit simple. I don't like overcomplicated long ass names like Douchebag Buckery Jones. I am not about that. Um. But, you know, we got game releases coming out, um, uh, as a lot of, and most people in GBG know this, I buy games, I buy games for the hell of it sometimes, just say, hey, I got the game, and not for the hell of it, because I know I'm eventually I'm going to play it, but in my last video I touched on a little bit, I want to have that home arcade experience with my system, and I mostly go digital. Digital, you just switch in, switch out, switch in, switch out. I don't have to change disc. I don't have to keep up with a big collection of cases with disc. And a lot of people are like, oh, I can't do digital. But a little cool little story. Uh, so last night we were in the party. Everybody was, actually everybody in the party was playing a little bit something different. Somebody was playing Drive Club. Somebody was playing Guilty Gear. Somebody was playing... Destiny, Far Cry, Dragon Age. I might have even seen a whole Hokum in there. But me, I was up here playing uh, Dead or Alive 5. And uh, shouts out to Michi Battle, AK Dimitri Battle, AK Michi Battle, on YouTube as well. And he was like, hey, uh, Courtney, can I play Dragon Ball? And I was like, well, first I was like, well, I know I can't share play it because my network is not quite up to speed like it, I want it to be. But I was like, and they were like, can I just get your account information so I can download? Like, you know what? I don't use that Japanese account anyway on anything else. And plus, it's already primary on my account. And I'm cool with uh, Dimitri. So I'm like, hey, sure. I gave him my account information. He went and got Xenoverse off my Japanese account and been playing it since last night 
he's probably liking it because I know he said something about the customization. And by the way, yes, I have three accounts primary on one system. Only way there are three accounts primary on one system because each one is from a different region. I have an American, Euro, Japanese account. So I come any one of those accounts, any games off of any of those other two accounts, I can play on my American account. So that's why y'all might see me playing Xenoverse early because I got the Japanese version. No, I don't speak Japanese. One day, maybe, but right now, no. So, with that being said, do I understand what they are saying? No. Do I understand what, when I go buy something out of the shops, what they do? No. But, this is the thing. I figured out. I just test them, because eventually you're going to have to buy all the ultimates anyway, just to get a trophy for that. And it's like... I just sample every single thing in the shop just to see what it does. Like, okay, this one is a health pellet, this one is a larger health pellet, and so on and so forth. This one is recovery, stamina recovery, key recovery, such and such and such and such. Same with the abilities, same with the outfits. I eventually figure out what what. So, language barrier, yeah, is there. Gamer barrier beats that. Because I just like, oh, okay. Now, if it was an RPG... Unless it had English subs, nah, I'm good on that. Um, but yeah, I'm just an overall gamer. I prefer story-based games. Now, don't get me wrong. I prefer story over multiplayer. Understand when I say this. I prefer story over multiplayer. Not meaning that I don't like multiplayer. Because I've been on The Last of Us Heavy the past couple of days. I've been on Battlefield 4 heavy on both my PS4 and my PC. I play multiplayer games, but multiplayer games are not my focus. <laughs> That's why I don't get all this hate for the order because it doesn't have, and I ain't going to say no names because I told you I'm not about that drama, but I'm just going to use an example of what I've been hearing. Oh, I don't see the order being worth $6 because... It doesn't have a horde mode or co-op or it doesn't have multiplayer, so it's really not worth it to me. Okay, granted, that's your opinion. You make that choice. Whatever you say. But it is not a requirement of every game to have a multiplayer. Rise, for all intents and purposes, what I played. I'm just going to play through the story, get finished with it. I'm enjoying the story, just not the gameplay. I'm going to be finished with it, and that's it. I'm not touching that multiplayer because it's nothing but... And I'm going to be dead-ass honest with you. Horde mode, to me, is like just a minor distraction. It's just something to keep you coming back to it, just to, say, dick around for a little bit. But horde mode gets old after a while. Just like... I can't see myself being a multiplayer only person because multiplayer gets repetitive after a while if you kind of get what I'm trying to get go there. It becomes the same routine of X, 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 Y, X, 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 Y, blah, blah, blah. Repeat, rinse. You know, even though it's on a different map and, you know, strategy will change, it becomes a just a pattern of repeating. And the same can be said about a story. But sometimes, all I want is that one good story. I don't care if it's cinematic, whatever. You know, that's all people complain about is cinematic stories. And when have you not liked something that's a cinematic story? Now, granted, not every game is a cinematic story. But I'm an RPG type person. That's why I love stories. That's why I prefer story over multiplayer. I mean, pretty much, PlayStation, in a sense, no, I'll take that back, Nintendo and PlayStation, them two together, yes, Nintendo, PlayStation, bred me to be the type of gamer that I am, to where I focus on single player, because as an only child, only person I can game with was really myself. 
My mom played sometimes like we were playing Mortal Kombat. She did hop in and... <sighs> Lord, her and fucking Sindel got on my damn nerves. Y'all have to understand, when I was little, I didn't understand Mortal Kombat that good, and I was a button master to a motherfucking T. So, yes, a nigga was getting whooped by moms, and she was using Sindel, and she could actually do combos. Now, if she can play a game now, I don't know, but back then... Her and my stepdad was whooping my ass in Mortal Kombat Trilogy. <laughs> and it was sad. But, you know, um, I'm, I'm just a gamer, man. I don't care what you play. I don't care what system you play it on. Just, I'm not about that drama life. If you have issues with a game, I'm cool with that. But just all this senseless bashing of games because they're on this system rather than this system or like the whole Xbox versus PS4 or Nintendo versus the world or PC Master Race versus the consoles. And look, man, to me, it's all stupid, to be quite honest. It's like... Why can't you just enjoy a game for what it is? Why can't you enjoy a game for being a game? Because I touched on this a little bit, and I don't think nobody caught on to it, but y'all are up here complaining about spending $60 on a game that may or may not be a five-hour campaign when back in the day, games cost double that. Like, take what they cost back in... 93 94 you know super nintendo games might have been uh 70 some do- 74 some dollars yeah let, let's uh kind of add in inflation and all that over the time changes and in 2015 that's 74 dollars and considering what people made back then 74 dollars was equivalent to 120 now so y'all are complaining about how, oh, $60 is too much for a game, but back then, people were playing double what we pay now, essentially, because wages back then wasn't much, so don't get it twisted talking about, oh, they had it good back then, they really didn't because shit was expensive, but let's think about it this way, back then, we didn't really have the internet. So when you bought a game, now they did have magazines back then, which, where I'm from, we didn't really know about magazines. We just went out on a limb and got a damn game. But back then, you got a game, you played it, and that was it. But mo- what most people don't realize, because they always talking about Link, most of those games back then could be beaten in a day, less than five hours, Contra being one of them. Contra could be beat in under two hours. Super Carnage could be beat in less than two hours. All these games that everybody loves. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time could be beat in less than two hours. Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Super Mario, Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario Bros. 3. All these games could be beat in that short amount of time. But we have people complaining about length of games when we're actually paying less than what we did in that time period. Now, am I defending short games? No, I'm not. Because not everybody's going to be willing to spend $6 on a game that may or may not last that long. Which, rightfully so, I don't knock y'all. But don't just senselessly... Yeah, yeah, I'm getting all kind of twisted. But don't just senselessly bash a game. Because it's not on your console. And you just want to tear it down to a T. And I mean tear it down to its very core for everything that it's worth. Then I'll speak on a little bit of hypocrisy. Y'all say a game needs multiplayer. And it gets mo- it has multiplayer. Let's take Killzone. Killzone has story, campaign, multiplayer, 
horde mode. Everything that most people expect in a game. They were like, oh, if it's, you know, it's these, this. Okay, it has all these three. But, everybody said, story suck. Multiplayer suck. And, of course, people that played the horror mode, horror mode is actually good. But, you know, there might be some people out there that say horror mode sucks. So, it's like, all those sucked. Just like some people say, Call of Duty sucks between the story, multiplayer, campaign. I mean, story, multiplayer, and horde mode. Whatever zombies it might be on. And then you have the order, which... You know, it comes out, and it, it just seems to be like a PlayStation thing for some odd reason. And it's on the Xbox side, too, because you had Titanfall, which a lot of people viewed as a waste of money because it was just multiplayer only. Even though they said they had a campaign, that campaign was, what, a whole two hours max? Yeah. Uh, But, you know, it had campaign, multiplayer. Campaign was just essentially multiplayer. So, I mean, you're really just stuck with multiplayer. Yay. But, and notice, I'm not knocking these games on the Xbox. I'm taking this experience from PC. So, this is not a shot at Xbox One. This is just my experience with the games in general. So, let's get that clear before anybody starts attacking my damn channel, even though I only have... 44, 45 subs, and also, by the way, thank you, subs, for being loyal to the channel, I appreciate y'all, whenever y'all do comment, hey, shouts out to y'all, two thumbs up, 10 out of 10, but this video is going a little bit long, plus my 15 minute break is pretty much over, um, but yeah, man, it's like, People need to start getting back to games. You did not buy a $400 or a $500 machine to sit and argue about, oh, this one can do this. No, this one can do that. I'm about gaming. When I get home, all that Facebook stuff, when I'm at work and I'm just, I'm bored at work most times. So when I'm at work, I get on Facebook and start, t -t 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 and, you know, I don't incite stuff. I pop my opinion in and we'll have a discussion about it, but that discussion will usually leads to cussing with some people. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. We're all, we're all supposed to be gamers, so let's game. Let's be what we say we are instead of just ass hats on the damn internet typing bullshit about another damn console. And about the games on the console, which we will never play. If you're one of those type of people that just bash on the console and bash on the games, and you had no intention of playing it, please sit the hell down. I don't want to hear your opinion. When you, and this is where I give Jonathan Rosa, shout outs to Johnny, Johnny5 as I call him. Shouts out to Johnny because you want to know what? As much as people gripe about Johnny flaming Sony like he usually does, which I figured out Johnny's end game, which I'm not going to reveal it on here, but I know his end game. Y'all have to realize, Johnny has a PS4. Johnny plays his PS4. Johnny plays his PS4 a lot because I see him online a lot. So, as much as y'all think he's just trying to do something because, to me, Johnny's like me. He's bored. So, he just does something just to get a rile out of people. But I know Johnny's a gamer because he games. It When I get home, that all this Facebook stuff ends. It ends. <laughs> I get home, I sit down, I game, I chill with my wife, chill with my son, chill with my daughter. And everything else is left in the dust. That's why I like when 5 o'clock hits, y'all don't see any more posts from me because I'm over here. Yeah, bro. Yeah, get him, bro. Bitch. 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 Yeah, that was the last of us. So, um, let me go and cut this video off. It's nearing 20 minutes. So, I think that's a good little reintroduction to my channel. 
and I'm glad y'all got to see this beautiful face next time y'all see it. I'll probably have this going and this going, and y'all be calling me CeeLo from now on, like everybody else calls me, because I, I have come to accept that once I shave my head and shave all this off and just leave this, like this, I do look like CeeLo, so call me crazy, I don't know. But anyway, this is the Sarge 0079, a.k.a. Mr. Stealth from the council. Officially ending this reintroduction to my channel. And shouts out to all the council members. GBG, we game here. Give y'all a little minor shot. Mr. T Tech, uh, we gotta get on the last of us. I, I gotta hand you a, you know, gotta give you a headshot. And. I'm gone. Peace and chicken grease, niggas.